Alright guys, part three of Let's Play Oregon Trail. Last time we had Nick get bitten by a zombie. That was the most eventful thing and a boss fight, so yeah. And unfortunately time boss fight is one of the hardest ones. So, uh, this time, let me make sure everything here is still good. Uh, as you can see, I scavenged a ton of scrap and a good amount of food as well. Still about the same amount of money though. I scavenged I think five times, so yeah. Now we're in pretty good shape because we should be able to repair the car a couple times. Ken no longer has cholera, that is good. We have 95 and a half hours of food. So we're really good on food. Okay, yeah, sometimes the car will slow down, so you want to take it to normal at all times if you can. Currently have two upgrades in. Uh, what's the road map look like? So now that area is contaminated, but we made it out in time, so... We still got a really long way to go. We're only on part three. Everyone else is in pretty good shape, though, aside from Nick having been bitten by a zombie. Uh, combat trainer, I still don't really want that, though. I don't think it's good enough. All right, let's leave. Let's head to St. Louis. Excuse me. Slow down to sneak past a large horde of zombies. Okay, well, if no one got bitten or anything, then that's fine. You hit a pretty nasty bump in the road and a med kit flies out the window. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Caitlin has cholera. Okay, so she's finally screwing us over. Good. Yeah, the story with her is she was a girl in my high school. She's a grade below me. So she's graduating this year. Ooh, canned food. Nice. But I asked her to prom in my junior year and I gave her flowers and everything and she said yes. And then another med kit screw you game. And then, like, she initially said yes, and then that afternoon, like, at the end of school, she just emailed me and said, thanks for the flowers and everything, but I'm not going to go with you. I've forgiven her and everything, but I still like to have her in this game, and we'll see if she survives all the way. Gives me one excuse, and she won't be making it. If she gets bitten by a zombie, I probably won't save her. Because Nick is my one of my best friends. I'm saving Nick if I can. I should have known when I was getting for asking out, like, literally, probably one of the hottest girls in the entire school. Oh, that was close. I was not paying attention. There we go. That was difficult. Oh, come on. You were supposed to stand up there, bro. Wrong way, bro down. That episode was kind of funny. Oh, come on. He should have gotten hit. There we go. We got a lot of money, though. That was very much worth it. All right, let's do this one, too, though, because that's a lot of money. I don't want to miss out on that kind of money. Crap, they're in a really annoying cycle where they're gonna they're gonna be hard to hit in that cycle. Alright, I think I got it now. Yeah, there we go, we got it. Oh, come on, that should have hit him. Aw, oh, crap. Come on, game. Oh, and it's even worse because on the higher difficulties, you don't even get that little set of white lines or whatever to aim with, which is really diff which makes it really difficult at times. Never lose the road. That's honestly not worth it, though. We don't really need that because it doesn't hurt you that much if you lose the road. All right, deadly activity. Got plenty of scrap left, plenty of fuel, plenty of food, a lot of ammo, and now a lot of money, which is good. Uh, we need to rest, though. Looks like everyone's looking a little tired and such. All right, Nick's going to be at full health again, despite having been bitten. Caitlin's feeling better from cholera. And I'm still a little hurt, but that's okay. Let's leave. I think it's time to cross a horde of zombies. Well, guess what? We have those giant... We have chainsaws on the side. So even though the horde is... This is the most difficult scenario is if they are massive and ravenous. 
So we're just gonna fight on through. I love that scene, it's so funny. But we don't even have to worry anymore about crossing hordes of zombies, so no issues whatsoever. So that was very helpful to buy that. I'm so glad we found that. Oh, our battery exploded, but we replaced it from supplies. All right, that's excellent. I'm gonna trade away our mufflers at some point because we don't need them. Ooh, an explosion in the distance. That doesn't mean anything, that's just a random event. A blizzard, okay, so that's not good because it's gonna hurt our health. Military blockade impedes us for an hour, that's not helpful. But we're about to make it to a cave, so we're gonna be safe there for a little while. Sky clears up. Wild fruit, okay, food. Food's always good. Alright, doesn't look like there's too many people here. Defense, like I said, I don't really like the defensive missions, especially with it being a suicide level. Move 5% faster, but that's only 5%. That's honestly just not worth it for the money. Alright, we've got enough supplies here. Let's see if we can trade away our muffler. See if we can get rid of it for something more helpful, because we don't need it. One med kit for six... Oh, wow, that is a really good deal, yes. Three scrap for 71 of your food? Yeah, I'll do that, because I don't really... I can always get more food easily. Four scrap for 29 ammo, that's not worth it. Because I need to conserve ammo for a while, because we're not that far through the game. No one to trade with. Come on, I want to sell off my muffler. I don't really need it. Just I can trade it. Three fuel for one of their muffler. Nope. One of their battery for 45 of our food. Sure, I can do that. One of their mufflers for 32 of your food. Well, you know what? That's actually a good deal, though, because now we can trade our mufflers for something better, hopefully. That was actually a good deal because food is by far the easiest resource to get. That's why it sells for the least. I mean, we still have so much food. For two of you. No, that was such a bad deal. One of their med kit for $7? Sure, I'll do that. Definitely. No one to trade with. Come on, game. I want to trade away my mufflers. I don't need them. 39 of their ammo for one of your tire. That's actually a pretty good deal, because I could use a little more ammo. And we still have a tire left. $19 for one of your muffler. Yes, I will do that. 15 of their food for three of your scrap. No. All right, so we have one muffler left. That's okay. Uh, let's repair the car. We probably won't have to scavenge again until the next location. I don't think we will, at least, but we're going to need to rest up a little bit, because everyone's health... Well, no, health is still doing okay, but let's rest up, let Nick rest off his zombie bite. So yeah, if you get someone that's bitten like that, don't immediately put them down, because you don't have to. And if you want to get a really high score, if someone gets bitten and they make it all the way to the end, they'll end up having a... It'll help your score. So yeah, I forgot to tell people that you can uh, talk to strangers. Uh, that's basically just, they'll give you advice or various stories and stuff. It's not really important, though. Okay, high activity, I say we head on out. 106 miles to Memphis, so we're only to Tennessee. You took a wrong turn. Aw, oh, dang it, but I, I'm usually a good driver. Usually. Dang it, Caitlin, why do you hate us? Found an abandoned car, but there was nothing to be scavenged. Sometimes when you scavenge an abandoned car, you'll find supplies or car mods, which are really, really helpful. We made it to Memphis. Excellent. So we made it to a city, and it looks like it's heavily populated. Bandits, normal level. Yeah, we can do that. That's pretty simple. Oh, normal level with five guys. That's a little unusual. Oh, we got one of them, so... Got him. There's two more. One more. Five shots, five less baddies. That was a pretty good run of that. I'm not going to waste my time. 
Well, you know, that's normal level for two fuel. We're going to need the fuel eventually, so that's not really a bad idea. But I've just never been a big fan of the defensive missions. I've just found them to be more difficult, I guess. Because no matter what, they'll eventually get to you. And it's harder to do with uh, without some of the upgrades, so yeah. Don't even like really attempt this if you don't have at least some of the upgrades, in my opinion, unless you're really fast. It would be easier with an actual mouse, though, versus uh, whatever I'm using on the MacBook. Whatever you would call it. Suicidal level of this is freaking hard. Alright, we made it and we got two fuel. We lost quite a few bullets firing off, but I think it was worth it. What's today's special? That's completely... That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen as an upgrade. That's not even an upgrade. That's just a waste of money. Where are we at right now? Memphis. Oh, wow. Uh, so Memphis is really in the southern part of Tennessee, apparently. I didn't actually know that. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Only 10 more locations until safe haven, so we're getting near the end. At, well, no, we're not getting near the end at all. But we're making good progress, which is good. Oh, didn't mean to click on that. Uh, make sure we're still going to normal speed. Yep. Uh, repair, we're okay. Uh, we'll rest for an hour. You know, Jennifer has been... Jennifer Lawrence, she is being just so awesome, like... Hasn't gotten hurt or done anything really stupid so far. Let's go, Jennifer. You are awesome. No wonder you're, like, one of the best actresses out there right now. Hi, zombie activity. We're not dealing with that. Ah, uh, biker gang. Yep. Let's go. Gonna deal with maybe two more of these in the game, I would assume. So yeah, it's basically just the same thing again. We've already done this before. There's nothing too special about it. It's just crash bikers, even though I still feel like this would cause just as much or more damage to your own car. But then again, like, we have freaking chainsaw windows, so unless they hit the back of the car, they'd be completely screwed. Just think about it. You just drive right through the freaking chainsaws. I mean, chainsaws are among the best weapons against zombies, so yeah. I never actually played Lollipop Chainsaw. I don't know if it was any good of a game. To the prison, okay. Caitlin gets shot by something. Well, how did you get hit by a random bullet when there was no one nearby? Who knows? Oh well. Rumbling sound comes from behind you. Crap. This is actually a pretty tough one. This is a tougher minigame. Especially on the higher difficulties. It's, yeah, it's basically a boss fight. You have to avoid being hit by all the wandering animals too many times. This is a really weird one. I think this one's exclusive to the uh, deluxe version of this game, or the whatever it's called, the director's cut. This can be one of the tougher ones in the game. And it makes, like, no sense whatsoever. Like, why are all these deer trying to kill us? What did we ever do to them? Seriously, game. Like, really. What did we ever do to them? And why are they attacking a car like that? That's just stupid. Well, we survived, though. So I'm not going to complain. Let's get to the prison so everyone can rest up a bit, because health isn't doing so well. Water. Oh, crap. Well, you know, we're almost at the prison, so we're going to be okay. Lose an hour bickering with Jennifer. Well, dang it, Jennifer, you were doing so well. Caitlin has measles. Like I said, just give me an excuse. Just give me the excuse. That's not enough of one, though. We need... As much as I wouldn't mind uh, putting down her or Nick, for that matter, because they're both just sort of not helping us right now, you don't want to do that because the very end of the game, you're going to need as many characters as you can. And you'll see why at the very end, because it just helps to have more characters, in my opinion. And you'll see why at the end. 
Ken's been doing well lately, though. He got sick a couple times early on, but he's doing fairly well otherwise. Uh, medium zombie activity. Let's see what's available. Yeah, we'll go for that. Why not? I can use a med kit. It's only normal level difficulty, so we should be able to do it. I don't think you can get boss fights in jobs, but I could be wrong with, about that. to add to the group. Uh, what else? What's in the combat trainer? Nah, I don't really need that. I've seen that ability before. I don't need it. Uh, let's repair the car and probably going to scavenge here though because running a little bit lower on supplies. Probably be better just to go ahead and scavenge here. Alright, car's looking better, but let's see if we can scavenge. Medium. I'll take it. Let's go for it. Maybe try to trade a bit. Okay, good. More scrap. We definitely can use that. We don't really need money right now. I mean, money's always good, obviously, but we really need more food and scrap than anything at the moment. That's usually what you're going to need because money is not, like, vital in this game. And that's something that's weird. Like, in an apocalypse, actual money is going to become completely useless. Only tradable items and, like, precious metals are going to have any value left over. So, like, gold, silver, diamonds are all going to still have value, and, like, food and medicine and stuff are all going to have value, but actual cash, no, it's not going to have any value. All right, uh, let's go. We'll probably encounter the third boss fight sometime along the way, but that one is arguably a bit easier to survive. Alright, yeah, I, I see that food there. I'd like to get it. Come on, game. Let me get that food. Yeah, baby. Food. Food, food, food. Stay away from him. Yeah. There we go, 100 ounces of food, $5, 15 scraps. But high zombie activity, so it's not safe to go out. We now have quite a bit more food and scrap. So that's good. Uh, we're gonna rest another hour, see if we can get Caitlyn feeling better. <sighs> Come on, you're just hurting us now. Fine, one more hour. Great, you're really just hurting us now. You're burning our food and such that we can't really spare. All right, normal. Well, I mean, we can, but I just choose not to. All right, so how are we doing destination-wise now? All right, we're making good progress here. We'll be there eventually. Oh, we're going to a hospital, but it's pretty far away. Check engine light is on. That just means the car's taking some damage. Nothing, nothing really important there. Caitlin is no longer sick. That's good. We need everyone to make it to the end if possible. Like I said, it's better for your score and everything. And it makes it easier. Uh, windshield has to slow down. Blah, blah, blah. That's not good. Or that's not helpful, I mean. How are we doing? We got plenty of fuel left, at least. Zombie activity is deadly, which is not good. Man, we've traveled over 2,000 miles already. Explosion in the distance. No big deal. You hit a deer. Come on, that's like the fourth one we pit. They just keep jumping in front of the car. Why are they so stupid? You question the edibility of some of your food. You toss it to be safe. We don't have a whole lot of food, though, so that's a bit of a surprise they would do that. We're not doing that for one freaking tire. Come on, that's the same one you've offered like three other times. We don't need that. Hmm. We're not in that good of shape right now. Uh, we're going to rest first. I'm gonna rest up first. Alright, that's better. Uh, the wagon's damaged and we're on high zombie activity, so let's repair it twice. I'd like to come across another auto shop, maybe, so that we can try to buy another upgrade. Maybe get, like, a battery that'll never blow up or anything, or better tires or something. 
Alright, uh, let's repair again. Eventually we're gonna fail another one. Oh, never mind. Uh, there's our failure of that one. Oh crap, I didn't mean to use just one scrap though. Well, we're not gonna win this one. Because I accidentally only used one scrap. Yeah, I saw that coming. I didn't mean to even do that. That was just a waste of a scrap. I have failed it twice in a row with 92% chance. So that's kind of annoying. But guys, I think that's going to be good for this part. So next time, we shall continue our journey along the Oregon Trail. See you guys then.